Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As I said, right, in the last video, we talked about how delta table stores the data, right? Like we have seen, it will always create the delta tables, right? In the form of parquet, where the actual data resides. And the second thing is, it will also store the information related to the metadata or the transactional log of the delta tables, right? Now, as I said, we will go through and I will show you what the CRC and JSON files actually contains, right? So if, if I show you, right, what I have done to show you guys, I have read these files as a normal text file in the Spark itself, okay? Now, what this is, I mean, like, if you see here clearly, right, in the, in case of, let, let's talk about the JSON first, okay? In, in case of JSON, if you see, there are couple of things which you can see here. Let me see if I can expand for you guys. Okay, yeah. So the first thing is the commit information, right? Like at what time the data is added, by whom it is added, the user, what operation you performed, okay? What mode you have been using, like are you using append or overwrite or what, right? If there is any partitions created by the data, right which cluster you have used which notebook you have used right these all informations will be stored as a commit information in json file like how much number of records or the rows you have added how many files you have read right the data you have read the size you have read which databricks engine you have used right so these are all information the commit information will be stored in json file Apart from this, you will also see the metadata, right? The columns basically, right? What kind of columns you have? What is the file you have used, right? And uh, if you see here, right? Which partition file got added as a part of this metadata information, right? At what time it got modified? At what time it got inserted? What is the start time of the insertion and time of the insertion, right? everything will be stored in the form of json file okay so this is how it stored the metadata as well as your commit informations if i go to the crc file this is also known as checksum files okay now what these checksum files does is the purpose of to store the checksum information related to the cs uh, related to the json only right so it will store the checksum values to ensure that corresponding JSON file, like this JSON file is not being changed or not being tampered, right? So it will hold all the checksum values of this JSON file just to make sure it is not being changed by any of the users. It's more like a validation part internally, which delta table does for the delta tables. Okay. So how these files work together is basically first one is your transaction process when a transaction is committed to a delta table right first of all this json file will be created with the detail of changes corresponding to this json file a crc file will also be generated as a part of checksum file okay so this is related to the transaction similarly reading state as well delta table reads json file in sequence order right so that it knows what is the current state of table right so if you go here we have some sequences right so that whenever you read the delta table right it will go to the sequence it will use that sequence okay and it will always take the latest sequence so that it knows which version it is currently having and the previous json will be treated as a previous version of file we will talk about like how history maintained and where exactly we can see these histories. But I hope you got the understanding like what are these CSV file and JSON files, why they have been using and why Delta table actually store this information. So I hope you got some idea. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video.